Hey guys, if you did not catch last week's market update, I'm asking you, please give it a watch. If you are a buyer, I believe it will help you better understand the Vero Beach market and see the urgency to secure a home before rates start to drop in 2024. That's right, there is a reason for that, so check out last week's video. It's in my link tree or on YouTube at, at Trips My Realtor. And in this week's report, we are going to touch on record setting interest rates, collapsing builder confidence, and why this is still the best time to be a buyer. So like and subscribe to all my social media channels at, at Trips My Realtor so you don't miss out on anything. The main headline of last week was interest rates. Responding to a very strong retail sales report, the bond market took another dive and the average 30-year mortgage consequently moved above 8%, 8.03 to be exact. As a reminder, on February 22nd of this year, the average rate was just 5.99%. What drove the latest spike? Consumer spending. September retail sales rose an incredible 0.7% month over month, which trounced the expectations of just a 0.3% rise. I know that when we talk about 0. Point something percentage points, it seems really small, but not when we're dealing with the federal government and our GDP. You see, the Fed wants lower inflation and slower growth, and this looks like the opposite, and it is stoking fears of higher interest rates for longer. Fed officials have another opportunity to raise rates here in November and they will need to use it if the economic data continues to surprise economists on the upside. And with this increased fear of higher rates for longer, the builder confidence got hammered last week. The National Association of Home Builders Confidence Index dropped four points to 40. That's the lowest we've seen since last January and builders have reported lower levels of buyer traffic as some buyers, particularly the young ones, are priced out of the market with these higher interest rates. Now, because of all of this negativity, even realtors are losing confidence, but homes are still selling quickly. Only 8% of realtors thought that buyer traffic would improve in the coming three months, but for the homes that sold in September, 69% were on the market for less than a month and they all saw on average 2.6 offers. So remember that this is seasonal. You know, this is the season when inventory typically rises and prices typically stagnate, but people often forget that. It's a supply and demand thing driven by weather and schools that got back into session and the upcoming holiday season. So of course, this normal season pattern can be disrupted by things like the pandemic, but the underlying seasonality is still there. It's just hidden. This is why it's a good time to be a buyer. Confidence is down, although homes are still selling, but with the news and uncertainty driving negative feelings, and that's exactly what they are. They are just feelings. We have to deal in the facts, and the facts are showing that homes are selling, but if listing agents are telling their sellers that it's a tough time, that's when we pounce. If you have questions about Vero Beach, our communities, or a particular home, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm Trip Hernandez with Dale Sorensen Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching and have a great week.